Modern tattoo culture was born on the streets of New York, but the art form was banned in the city until 1997. We're exploring how a forbidden art form exploded out of the city's gritty underground and became a modern day obsession. We're getting a tattoo put on my body forever. <laughs> For thousands of years, tattoos have been part of cultures all over the world. I'm Chelsea Pineda. And I'm Sydney Kramer. Together, we're on a journey to discover the history, traditions, and future of body art. This is Ink Expedition. Tattooing was banned in New York for nearly 40 years. During that time, the Bowery neighborhood became the epicenter of the illegal tattoo world. Today, in spite of skyrocketing rents and gentrification, the Bowery is still home to a vibrant tattoo scene. Some of the city's original tattoo shops still house relics from the art form's early days. The Bowery is the site of the patent for the very first electric tattoo machine. At the time in the 19th century, tattooed men and women participated in carnival sideshows. With the invention of the electric tattoo machine, the craft began to spread throughout the notorious neighborhood. In 1961, New York City used a hepatitis B outbreak as an excuse to ban the rising tattoo industry. Many tattoo artists suspected the city was looking for ways to clean up its image as it prepared to host the World's Fair. The ban remained in place until 1997, but that didn't stop the city's most dedicated artists from practicing their craft. Fine Line Tattoo is NYC's oldest tattoo shop. My father and I opened the shop together in 1997 after the lifting of a ban on tattooing in New York. My father uh, was tattooing, however, underground from 1976 on. Before lifting the prohibition on tattooing in New York, there were only a few people tattooing and it was all word of mouth, there was really no advertising. You had to be in the know. I think, you know, sometimes people will be tattooed for the sake of fashion or on a whim of some kind, but there's some deeper rooted reasoning behind it that may be subconscious. There's something drawing people to this process. Tattooing has gone mainstream. About 40% of millennials have ink. Including me, Sydney Kramer. So today's the big day. What are we doing here today? We're getting a tattoo put on my body forever. Nice. <laughs> at Save Tattoo in Brooklyn, artist Sophie C'est La Vie is at the forefront of the modern tattoo revival. My work relates to New York City in a sense that um, New York City is pretty diverse. My work is constantly changing, and I feel like New York is also constantly changing. Years ago, receiving a tattoo was an act of subversion or even rebellion. Today, many people use tattoos as a way to express their individuality. I feel tattooing has a major influence on people's individual identity. I feel that it's a personal form of expression that can only be determined by the, the wearer of the tattoo. I like, I like to cook, as you know, um, and I love food, so I just decided to dedicate this part of my body to food and foods I love. And it's about design, and it's like, you know, decorating your body. Tattooing is for you, it's not for anybody else. Whether it has a meaning that is more abstract or whether it is a just an aesthetic, you like the way it looks, that in itself is your personal preference, your personal aesthetic, your personal expression of your own identity. Yeah. 
you're a little nervous, you know, kind of excited. Um, and like, you kind of like feel like the phantom pain like right before the needle hits, like you can hear the buzz and you're like, okay, here we go. I feel like I'm dying I'm like on a hospital bed and like you're here to like tell me something before I go. <laughs> <laughs> The reason why it has exploded the way that it has is because it is one of the highest forms of personal expression that an individual can have. While the rebellious days of New York's tattoo underground may be long gone, the spirit of individual expression lives on with the city's modern artists and its influence is still being felt across generations. Next time on Ink Expedition, tattoos you can hear. We're meeting the artist who's changing the future of tattoos with augmented reality. Hi, Becker's mom. <laughs>